This is Will, and thanks for joining The Law Schoolers. In a previous episode, I talked about what I wish I knew when I was preparing for the LSAT. And one of those things was to take an LSAT course. And obviously, there are a whole lot of options when it comes to taking an LSAT course. Uh, In this episode, we're going to be talking about all of those options. Uh, That is a paid course, uh, free courses, or or paid self-paced courses. And I'm going to argue that paying for a life course is the best option. So studies have shown that students learn more when they, and perform better when they receive direct instruction uh, that's facilitated by an expert. Uh, so in other words, students perform better when they have a teacher. So for me, throughout the years, I've taken several life courses. I've taken several self-paced courses. I've taken a lot of online courses uh, just through all of my education experience and with COVID, uh, a lot of uh, time is spent with live courses and self-paced courses. And I have found that these live courses, even if they're online, I pay much higher dividends than doing a course self-paced. So I would strongly recommend that you pay for live instruction rather than settling for a free self-paced course or even a paid self-paced course. However, you could use those free self-paced courses to supplement your studies. So let's go over the options more thoroughly. Uh, What are your options? First, you can take a paid life course. Second, you could take a paid self-paced course. Or third, you can take a free self-paced course. So some of these paid courses include Princeton Review, uh, LSAT Prep. You have Blueprint, you have LSAT Max, and you have Inkaplan. And then a local one is ACE LSAT Prep. As far as your free resources go, you have Khan Academy, LSAT Prep, and the LSAC Law Hub. So let's go over these organizations more thoroughly. So the Princeton Review LSAT Prep. Well, how expensive is it? Uh, for their self-paced course, it's $799. For the LSAT 165, it's $2,099. And that's the score. And what the LSAT Plus is 165 plus means is it's a guarantee that with at least 85 hours of instruction, you're going to uh, achieve a score on the LSAT higher than 165. There's Immersion 165 plus, which is $4,000, and that's 145 hours of instruction. You have Fundamentals, which is like a boot camp, and that's 30 hours of classroom instruction. And then there's Tutoring, which is $167 $167 an hour. Those are all options. You don't need to combine any of those. Those are all um, independent of one another. The one thing to note about this 165 plus guarantee is that there is a caveat. And the caveat is you need to score at least a 158 on a practice test uh, to qualify for this 165 plus guarantee. So, in other words, they're guaranteeing that your score will jump from at least 168 to 165. That's different from jumping from, say, a 150 or a 152, which is the average LSAT score, to a 165 plus. However, it is important to realize that 165 and higher is the LSAT score that you're going to need to get into pretty much every top 25 uh ranked law school okay so blueprint lsat prep they have a live course that is uh fifteen hundred dollars they have a 170 plus course this is new for them which is twenty one hundred dollars sorry excuse me twenty two hundred dollars they have a self-paced course that is three hundred dollars per month uh and you can pay for three months six months and so on but the best value would be 799 for three months And then tutoring has several packages uh, on the low end from being $2,600 on the high end being uh, $5,800. Again, they have their 170 plus course guaranteed. Uh, The fine print is a little bit more clear. Uh, You need to have a diagnostic test that is 160. And 160 is a really good score to begin with. It will get you into like top 50 ranked law schools but they do guarantee a 10 point increase so 
you need to complete all of the coursework, the study exams, and practice questions to be eligible for this guarantee. Blueprint is also really proud of having the, quote, first and only online LSAT planner. Uh, based from what I've seen, it looks quite extensive and quite helpful in making sure that you can study properly, uh, schedule good practice tests, and so on and so forth. Okay, so LSAT Max has several options. Uh, LSAT Max 180 is uh, $900 for 180 days of course access. LSAT Max 365 is $1,400 for a year's worth of access, 365 days. Or you can choose LSAT Max Lifetime, which is $1,900 for lifetime access to the course. One thing to know about LSAT Max, though, is that it is entirely self-paced. They don't offer any live classes. Uh, so you're you're going to be getting out what you put into the course. If you put in a ton of work, you're going to get a really high LSAT score. If you don't put in any work, then you're not going to have a high LSAT score at all. So that that is the uh, the downside is that it is all self paced. They do have a higher score guarantee. So when you register for the class, you'll take a diagnostic, and uh, if you if you don't get a higher score on your LSAT than you did on your diagnostic, then you can ask for your money back. However, I would say that most people are likely to get a higher score guaranteed when they even put in a little bit of study. So the guarantee doesn't really benefit you much from LSAT Max. It does have some significant advantages. Uh, they have the most LSAT-related content you can ask for. They have over 92 real practice tests. Uh, for example, Princeton, uh, which is really expensive, uh, more expensive than this, only has six practice tests. And LSAT Max also has over 1,000 hours of video instruction. They do hold office hours, so you could go and talk to a live instructor if you have questions. The, again, the downside, though, is that it is entirely self-guided. But it does average an 18-plus point increase, and it is the number one rated LSAT course in the country. So Kaplan is, has several options. Uh, Self-paced is $800. Their live online course is $1,200. Their in-person course is $1,500. And their Tutoring Plus online course is $2,000. And then Boot Camp is $4,000. So just like LSAT Max, Kaplan offers the uh, money-back guarantee, the higher score money-back guarantee. Uh, so again... If you're not happy with your diagnostic score, you can get that uh, money back. Or if you're just not happy, you can uh, keep Kaplan for your next LSAT test. Other than that, it works similar to the other courses, uh, but it is slightly cheaper. And as students often receive higher results from Kaplan, it's, it could be worth the investment to... Uh, Go all out on an LSAT course, but save a little bit of money. So ACE LSAT test prep. So ACE is something that was actually local to my home community. The reason why I'm sharing a local one is because you might be able to find cheaper options that are live and local. It could still be quite expensive, quite pricey. For example, ACE is still $1,000 for the in-person live classic, or the live online classic is $800, but that still saves you about fifteen hundred dollars to two grand from any of the other options that we listed for a live course. And part of the reason why I'm sharing this is because you can find other localized groups that are closer to your community. A lot of uh, undergraduate colleges have courses that are designed to help you take the LSAT. So if you can find on those courses, just talk to your um, pre-law academic advisor and see if there's anything that is local that might be a little bit more cheaper okay so let's just go over the free versions real quick so Khan Academy LSAT prep prep the pricing is free uh, so if you don't have the money to spend on an LSAT course uh, Khan Academy I'd say is the next best thing like I said it's what I took when I was preparing for uh, the LSAT 
It is sponsored by LSAC. Uh, they work together. Uh, it has 10 real LSAT tests and thousands of practice questions. It's also full of videos and, article, and articles uh, from experts explaining how to do the certain point parts of the LSAT. It does provide a study calendar, uh, a simple study calendar, and it'll send reminders for you to study. The downside, of course, is that it is self-paced, so the only motivation that you have to be successful is yourself. Uh I used Khan Academy when I was studying for the LSAT, and I don't regret it, but I do regret not having an additional source of a live class. But if you can't afford a live class and you have the good motivation, Khan Academy is a really good option. The LSAT Law Hub, I would say, is another really good option. It's free. But you can upgrade to a paid plan for $100, which does have 70 LSAT practice tests. The free version only has two practice tests. The Law Hub was created by the LSAT for a testing software uh, to take the LSAT. I, I would recommend creating a Law Hub account just to see what the software looks like and to take those practice tests uh, because it's the software that you will take to take the LSAT. But other than that, uh, and don't worry about getting uh, the paid account uh, because if you're going to pay, you should pay for uh, pay a little more for more resources. So just to summarize, that was a lot. Uh, there are a lot of options to take the LSAT, lots of free and paid options. I would recommend choosing one of the paid courses, uh, paid live courses, and supplement it with the free version. You could take a paid course from Princeton, Blueprint, LSAT Max, Kaplan, or a local resource. For me, that was Ace. Uh, your free resources is Khan Academy and the LSAT. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Law Schoolers. Before I let you go, there are four things I want to say. The first thing is if you enjoyed these episodes and if you enjoyed the website, I would invite you to go and join Law Schoolers Pro. And you can do that by going to lawschoolers.com slash join. It's a way for you to support us, but there's also a lot of features there that I think you will enjoy. Second thing is that nearly all of our episodes are unedited. The only ones that aren't are pre-law materials. And the reason for that is so you can actually see the legal material in its raw form as I'm learning it as well. The third thing is that the information contained in these episodes are specifically only for educational purposes. They're not to be used as legal advice. And with that, the fourth thing is if it is used as legal advice, we are not liable. That is, law schoolers is not liable for any legal outcomes. Thank you again for enjoying the show. Have a good one.